Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eve here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video I'm very excited to do because we're gonna be doing a full face of all essence and makeup products. If you're new to my channel, a welcome. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get into makeup application. Okay guys, we're gonna start with a bare face. I'm just gonna pin my hair back out of my face. I already have skincare on my face. I did film the skincare morning routine. Um, it's here on my channel. I will have it uh, linked for you um, in the description box. Okay, so we have a lot of products uh, today. I have a primer foundation, finishing with eyebrows and eyeshadow palettes and some tools. So let's get right into it. My primer today, I'm gonna start with this my Skin Perfector Tinted Primer in a shade 05 Fair Neutral. It comes in this soft packaging and it said that it can be applied alone and it will create the velvety, smooth and natural coverage and also can be used as a base uh, in combination with your makeup and it's supposed to create a flawless complexion. So it's a soft a tube and with a screw on cap. Comes out like this, it's a pretty thick paste let's go ahead and apply it on skin it feels really light and kind of oily a little bit goes on skin really easily it feels very moussey at the same time i definitely feel like a little goes a long way if you put more it really makes no difference i can definitely see some smoothness happening from this but I don't really see a lot of coverage and for my foundation today I'm going to be using this pretty natural hydrating foundation in the shade 040 neutral vanilla this retails for $6.99 on essence website and it's one ounce of product in this tube and it's available in 31 shades on the brand's website I filmed a wear test and full review for this foundation here on my channel and I will have this video linked um, in the description box as well for you guys I know that this shade actually matches me perfectly it feels hydrating on skin it feels like you're putting hydrating lotion on however as you can see it gives me a really nice coverage and it looks like skin and it is slightly smoothing i like to use this product in two layers because in the first layer it goes on um, more on a lighter coverage like light to medium and then you can build it up to um like full medium coverage this foundation does have added aloe vera and hyaluronic acid and it just went on skin very nicely really comfortable blends in really easily i just prefer to use my sponge for this uh, foundation application but again i will link the full video review on this foundation in the description box if you are interested make sure to check that video out for my concealer today i'm gonna use this camouflage plus matte concealer this retails for 3.99 my concealer is in the shade 10 light rose this is available in eight different shades this claims to be a matte concealer that completely covers dark circles or redness pimples and tattoos and it's also waterproof formula that doesn't crease or sinks into fine lines it would make your skin look brighter smoother and more firm i really like the shape of the applicator it's kind of like the pointy like heart shape almost let's go ahead and apply this under my eyes it blends out pretty easily it does look like this under eye area is highlighted so far it goes on pretty easily and blends out pretty seamlessly let me see it says it will cover my under eye circles let's see i don't really have too much blueness around but i woke up so tired this week guys i'm having insomnia attacks i don't know if you want to call them attacks but i can't sleep that's basically that's what it is it kind of adds from day to day on the second day or third day if it keeps going like this i would literally feel like a zombie let me know if you guys um struggle with insomnia and what are your solutions what you do because i could definitely use an advice <laughs> because i literally tried everything and anything that i could possibly try to my best knowledge it just comes out of nowhere a lot of times i feel like it's related to my stress level obviously 
but a lot of times like this week i feel like i'm fine i'm not too stressed out or anything like that i just had a really nice relaxing weekend and i can't sleep so super random all right so what am i seeing right now is initially when you apply it it just kind of creamy and then it starts mattifying itself and it starts settling into my fine lines i almost feel like i won't need to powder my under eyes because it just starts mattifying itself as far as the coverage i think it kind of brightened this area a little bit like darker what i would like it to look like one more thing i also feel like it removed my foundation from my nose it looks pretty patchy right here on the tip of my nose if you guys have been watching my channel for some time you probably have heard about this next product that i'm about to show you this is a brighten up banana powder i've talked about this product a million times because this has been my favorite for years and I keep repurchasing it. Excuse the view of this packaging because it is $4.99 and you can't really complain because the product itself is pretty freaking amazing. But this is what happens to this every single time. As you can see, I have a major pen in it. This comes in one shade. This is a number 10 banana powder. And, and it's basically a brightening powder and setting powder for your T-zone. This is just something that's been in my collection for years. And I swear by it. This product I take to all my traveling trips and uh, just basically my go-to. When I need my pores to disappear, basically I reach for this. The way I use it i would normally just use my sponge swirl around just pick it up a good amount on a brush when it's like that and then i just press into my skin right here since today i'm using that concealer and i just feel like it's a little bit too drying i'm not going to get too close to my under eye because this is where my fine lines are so i'm just going to press it right here on my nose and right here in this area do the same on this side powder is not drying it definitely minimizes the appearance of your pores it is mattifying if you are oily skin you would definitely appreciate this product i know that my makeup lasts my pores are less visible it is brightening just that the rest of my face i'm going to be using this my Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder retails for $5.99 on Essence Makeup a website. I have mine in the shade 10 Light. And this is a loose setting powder that has ultra light yet buildable formula that locks the foundation in place all day. Also claims to be blurring for skin imperfections and leaving a natural matte finish. This powder is available in six shades and uh, mine is obviously in the lightest one and it kind of look a little bit yellowish so i'm gonna lightly powder the rest of my face that went on easily it didn't cling to anything guys now i look like a ghost and we need to warm up my complexion and uh, for the bronzers today i do have two choices so i have the matte bronzing powder in the shade 01 natural this comes in three shades on essence website and then it's it retails for 4.99 this second one is called sun club luminous bronzing powder the shade is called sun kissed in california first i'm gonna go with the matte bronzing powder and this is a new pack you guys this is a repurchased item for me i loved it so much this is a very nice formula in the way that it is buildable this is the lightest shade out of three it is not super pigmented that it gets overwhelming this product is firmly pressed as you can see i'm picking it up and there's no fallout you know it's gonna last you for quite some time i like the fact that you can control how much color you put on your face now i'm gonna switch to a luminous bronzer and i'm gonna add a little bit of glow because this product is glowing i'm gonna stick to with my larger brush and i'm just gonna gently swipe it like this just to pick up some color and go only on like high points of my face and add that luminosity. This is a slightly warmer bronzer and it works as a bronzer topper. For my blush today, I'm gonna be using this, uh, the blush um, in the shade 10 Befitting. It retails for $2.99. It's a buildable blush that has a silky smooth texture. I want a little bit of flush to my cheeks. You guys know I love my blush. I'm just gonna add 
a little bit to my nose since I'm kind of going for like a more natural sun-kissed look today. I'm gonna go ahead and add the highlighter. I'm gonna be using the very OG classic your nude highlighter in the shade 10 be my highlight this has been a loved and a loved and loved for a very long time this product is gonna last me forever because this is just very firmly pressed it is that subtle highlight you can't really overbuild it I feel like you can intensify it a little bit but you cannot overdo it because it is just very very subtle and it does have a very pearly finish and that's like from within glow you don't know where it starts and where it ends it just kind of like glows very seamlessly which is nice this highlighter comes in several shades oh my god it's so 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 pretty so my complexion is finished and we're gonna start framing everything small touches and i'm gonna start with eyebrows i have these two make me brow eyebrow gel mascaras and this comes in five different shades i have mine in two shades a blendy brows a zero one and zero three soft brownie brows so i'm going to be using the deeper one today the brush looks like this this is a tinted gel formula that contains tiny fibers that fills in gaps to create fuller more defined brows so we're going to go ahead and start brushing upwards the hairs the little hairs that I have on my eyebrows. It is definitely tinted as you guys can see and the color is um, pretty good for my complexion. I like it more on a cooler undertone. It brushes my hair upwards really nicely and it kind of tints, fills in the areas that there are sparse and see-through. So this is kind of like what I want personally. Hey okay, guys, so this is one layer and I feel like it filled in the background to slightly like tinted a more defined uh brow and it actually made my hairs like stay up you know for that feathery effect now i'm gonna go ahead and use this quad it's called it's all about the brows four in one palette it does have a pan with a wax and then we have a, a lighter shade just probably like for setting or highlighting your brow bone i have two lighter powder shades here to use for contouring the eyebrows you hey guys so my camera died i had to go and um fix this eyebrow and i'm going to show you on this eyebrow how i finished my eyebrows i used this quad and this brush so i took a little bit of wax right here and then dipped it into the darker shade just a tiny bit just again make sure it's not clumpy fill in the sparse areas for my eyeshadows today i'm going to be using this a be a beautiful eyeshadow palette and it looks like this essence and makeup discontinued this palette however they do have a different version of this palette available on their website at the moment so i'm going to do a very simple eye today I'm What I did, I used this middle shape for my crease, then I went into this uh, corner deeper uh, matte shade to just kind of deepen up the look on the outer corner and on my um, lower lash line. And I use this beautiful highlighting shade uh, for my inner corners and you can see it does have a little bit like of the golden tint to it. This shade also is beautiful as a face highlight. I've done this before and this is just such a multi-use product who doesn't like that this palette has uh, several shimmers and they're all different in tones so i went with uh, this one right here and just kind of added it to my lid you can definitely turn it into a night look if you just like to throw maybe some eyeliner and lashes you'll be good to go go ahead and apply some uh, mascara so i do have some classic favorites here i have the lash princesses I have the green and the purple one i filmed my mascara collection um and this video is already on my channel Channel here I will have this linked for you in the description box if you guys already watched that video you know that my preference goes for the purple one formula is identical to the green one but I just prefer the wand on this purple mascara I'm gonna use this mascara with this a uh, nice primer to finish up my look today I'm gonna set it with this uh, fix and last 18 hour makeup fixing spray it's $4.99 on Ulta website it is not available on Essence uh, makeup website. Since I already have mascara on, I'm gonna cover my eyes. 
For my lips today, I'm going to be using Color Boost Mad About Matte, a liquid lipstick. This is a soft tube, and I really like the shape of this brush. It's a figure eight brush. Let's do a roundup and the final thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna go in order there, apply the product to my face. Let's start with a primer. This is a tinted primer. I did not notice any difference with this product. I feel like it didn't do anything. It didn't color correct. It didn't really smooth too much. It didn't hydrate. It really didn't do anything to my skin to improve. As far as the foundation, you guys already know that I love it and make sure to check out that link to the wear test video in the description box. I love this product, I recommend it. I can't stop using it. I'll say a few things about the concealer. It went on skin pretty hydrating and liquid and, and then it mattified itself. I did not set the under eye area because there was no need for it. It's slightly brightening, however, it didn't give me that coverage that I was looking for. I still see the blueness under my eyes. I don't think it stands out for its claims. As far as the banana powder, you guys know it's my holy grail. I can't live without this powder, I can't recommend it enough if you are looking for powder that's gonna blur your pores that's gonna brighten and it's gonna wear the whole entire day that is a sweat proof waterproof everything proof it's this stuff is amazing it's so affordable and I cannot recommend this enough for you as far as this setting powder you guys know that I'm generally not a huge fan of setting loose powders I feel like they're messy and it comes in different shades to match your foundation I feel like this shade was good for my skin tone and this is the lightest in a range or it is a nice setting budget powder when it comes to the bronzers you guys know that this is, has been a repurchased product for me this is a matte bronzer and this luminous bronzer is a new product for me I did like that it intensified um, the bronziness on my face and I really like that it definitely warmed up the complexion to a slightly next level it definitely brought that glow up it is definitely a summer product for me if you are lighter than a me skin tone you'll probably find this a little bit too deep for you as far as the matte formula I love this product. It's just this nice buildable uh, formula that has no fallout. It will last you for a while and it's super affordable. The pan, as you can see, is larger. It's almost like the size of my hand. I love this and I recommend this. I really don't think we need to talk about the highlighter too much because I already know that me and a million other people love this. As far as the blush, I uh, really like it. It's really nice formula. It's pigmented. It blends into skin easily. This is a really good product. As far as the eyebrow products, I like that there's a several um, colors and the range for this. I went for 03. It actually dried out on my eyebrows. It's not like super stiff, but it does have a stiffness to it, which I personally love it lifted my eyebrow hairs and kept them in shape i really like that it also created that dimension and added some color i think this is a really nice affordable version if you're in a budget and as far as this palette i don't think this is my favorite i found it best to use first with applying your brush into this waxy uh, pan and, and then pick up the shadow color and then apply them together. I don't personally love it because for my personal needs, how I like to do my eyebrows, I like to create that outline because I don't have eyebrows. I need to create the vision that I like as if I do have them. So if you already have eyebrows, I feel like you might like this product a little bit better. However, if you need to do a little bit more work like I I do I don't think you will love this product as far as this brush I really like it this is really nice quality brush I've had this brush for some time and I know they have other brushes in their range I also have a very thin eyeliner brush for a gel eyeliners that one is also amazing I don't know where it is right now so I can't show it to you but I will link it for you in the description box I think it's only a few dollars and this brush is amazing when it comes to these mascaras and the mascara base I love both I actually really like this product I recommended uh, this product to you guys in my favorites videos and the only thing that I need to mention here is that you only need a one coat of this if you apply more it starts clumping up if you apply one it gives you that enough volume and extends the wear time of your mascaras need I feel no need to talk too much about this product I love the formula this mascara has been around for a very long time my personal preference go towards the purple instead of the green just for one reason that I find the brush shape a little bit easier to manipulate as far as the setting spray I actually 
talked about the setting spray in my previous uh, favorites videos as well. I like the setting spray quality. I really think that it works. It does the job. However, there is one however here and it's big. This mister sucks, you guys. This mister is horrible. It doesn't, it, you can't even call it a mister. It just has like huge blobs that like thrown to your face and it really just kills the whole entire purpose. I suggest you move it to a different bottle, but the product is affordable and the formula is actually pretty good. Okay, guys, this sums up my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye.